Welcome to the Java programming series and today we will understand how to write down the program to print below pattern. So we have to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 times. So in a single line we have to print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we have to print 5 lines total. So the first approach is very easy, right? I can just write down the system.out.println and I can print the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can just write down this statement for the five times. It's not a big deal, right? It will print the same pattern. That's it. Program is done. But this is not a correct way because we are duplicating the code. You can see here this statement we are executing five times, right? So same statement we are writing again and again. So we have to remove the duplication. So that is why we need to use the for loop. So can we just execute this single statement five times? Yes, we can use the for loop. So let me just write down the for loop. Uh, let's say for integer i is equal to one, i less than or equal to. So how many times we have to execute this for loop? So we have to execute this for loop for the five times. So i less than or equal to five and i plus plus. And let me just try to print one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five this statement will get executed five times, right? And it will print the same output. So let me run this program and it will give you the same output. Perfect. Still here we can do some optimization. Let's say next program I'm giving you to print one to hundred five times. So again, you have to write down the one to hundred in this line. So that is also not a feasible solution. So can we take a for loop to print this five numbers as well? So we want to print, we want to execute this line five times, right? That was our first problem and we have resolved that, right? Using this for loop, we are actually printing the five lines. My next problem is I have to print five numbers in a single line. So for that, can we add another for loop? So we can better understand in this way. Let's say instead of printing everything in one line, Let's try to use system.out.print. So whenever you are using system.out.print, it will print everything in a single line. So let me just try to take another four statement and I will just print one number each time. So here it's a one, then two, then three, then four and five. Right. Perfect. So if I'll run this program, it will give you the same output, right? So we are missing the line break after the phi, right? After phi, we have to add the line break. So I can just write down the system.out.println. I'm not printing anything, but still it will do the line break. Okay. So it will press the enter. Okay. So first time it will print one, two, three, four, five in a same line, then enter one, two, three, four, five in a same line, enter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, same line, enter. And why it will print in a same line? Because we are using system.out.print. Okay. So we are not using print ln. So it will not do the line break. Perfect. So let me just try to execute this program and it will give you the same result. So what we are doing so far here, we have executed the for loop five times. So it will print the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in a same line five times, right? Now my question is, can we use the for loop for this statement as well. Here also we have to execute the system.out.println five times. So let me just try to take another for loop for this five statement. So we can take the for loop for integer. So here we have to use another variable because we already use the i. So we can just use j is equal to one, j less than or equal to five and j plus plus, right? And instead of printing this five statement, I can just print one statement. Okay. And this number I can print dynamically. So this number instead of this number, I can use J. Okay. Because J is going from one to five. So here it will, this for loop will print one to five in a single line, then enter. And we are printing the five lines. Okay. So we are executing this statement five times and we are executing this for loop five times, right? So this statement will be executed 25 times. So let me just run this program and it will give you the same output. Perfect. Let's try to understand the execution of the program. So first of all, we have a two variables, i and j. 
right and we will see what will be the output perfect so we have a i j and output so first of all we are starting the value of i by 1 so we are starting the value of i by 1 right and we are checking the condition 1 less than or equal to 5 condition is true yes because 1 is less than or equal to 5 right it will go inside this for loop we are starting the j is from 1 right so j is now 1 okay it will check the condition 1 less than or equal to 5 yes j is 1 and 1 less than or equal to 5 condition is true so it will print the value of j in the output so it's a 1 and you can see here we are using print so it will not do the line break right perfect again it will do j plus plus so j is now 2 it will check the condition 2 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true it will print 2 into the output right and again it will do j plus plus so j is now 3 it will check the condition 3 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true it will print 3 into the output so it's a 1 to 3 again j plus plus so j is 4 it will check the condition 4 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is still true it will print 4 into the output and you can see we are printing into the one line only because of system dot out dot print again it will do j plus plus it's a phi now so phi less than or equal to phi condition is true yes it will print phi into the output and now j plus plus so j is now 6 okay and now it will check 6 less than or equal to 5 no condition is false so it will exit the j for loop right and then it will press the enter so now our cursor is pointing here and now it will do i plus plus right because still we are inside the i for loop so it will do i plus plus so now i is 2 2 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is still true right so again it will go inside and now again j will start from 1 so again j will be starting from 1 okay same thing again so 1 less than or equal to 5 condition is true yes then it will print j so again it will start from here 1 again it will do j plus plus so now 2 2 less than or equal to 5 condition is true yes then it will print j so it's a 2 then 3 then 3 4 4 5 5 and when j is 6 this condition will get failed right again it will exit the j for loop and it will print enter so now cursor is pointing here right so by mistake i have written 1 2 3 4 5 here but this will print here right so it's a 1 2 3 4 5 right when i is equal to 3 now again it will do i plus plus so i is equal to 3 again it will check 3 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is still true again it will execute this for loop 5 times it will print 1 2 3 4 5 right again it will do line break so it's a enter now i plus plus so i is now 4 4 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is true then again it will execute this for loop for the 5 times so again it's a 1 2 3 4 5 right and then there is a line break so now cursor is pointing here now i plus plus so i is now 5 again it will check 5 less than or equal to 5 yes condition is still true again it will execute this for loop for the 5 times so it's a 1 2 3 4 5 and your cursor is pointing next line right now again it will do i plus plus so it's a i now 6 and 6 less than or equal to 5 condition is true no now condition will fail so it will exit the i for loop and it will exit the program because we don't have a, any statement after the i for loop right so your output will be 1 2 3 4 5 5 lines and each line it will print 1 2 3 4 5 excellent so here we are using the two for loop outer for loop and inner for loop so outer for loop will always be responsible for the number of row right so if you want to print the same output for the 10 row then you just have to change here so just instead of 5 just make it 10 so try to run this program it will give you the 10 rows and this j for loop is responsible for the column right so if you want to print 1 to 9 10 times then you have to change here so instead of 5 just make it 9 just run this program it will print 1 to 9 10 times okay so inner for loop responsible for column outer for loop responsible for row perfect so it's a base of any pattern program so try to understand it very well so you will feel confident while writing the for loop perfect so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments regarding this video try to write down into the comment section 
थैंक्स एवरीवन एंड विल सी यू इनटू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो